Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 7 of Vlogmas. Today I'm coming to you with uh, part 1 of my December 2017 book haul. Um, today and tomorrow are both going to be book haul videos. Tomorrow's is going to be on my Harlequin box sets. So these are just like the single titles that I have bought over the last few weeks. There are 16 books on this list so let's jump in and get started. The first book is Christmas at the Dancing Duck and this is by Daisy James. Um, I heard about this series by, I think this is the second book in the series, from um, Ify at Fred, uh, Fred Weasley Died Laughing. She talked about the first book and it sounded really good so I bought it. And then I saw this one come up on a deal so I picked this one up too. And of course it's a Christmas book. I believe they take place in the UK and England so it looks like a lot of fun. The second book is a departure from what you would normally see on this channel but it's still a book I am extremely excited about. I saw this book, well, I knew this book was coming and I had it on pre no I didn't have it on pre-order. I had it on my wish list. And it was, I think, $15 for the ebook version, and I even debated on just going ahead and ordering a print copy. I still might just order a print copy because I am a fan of this author. Um, big fan of this author. Um, he does a television show on Netflix called Secrets of Great British Castles, and his name is Dan Jones. And he is very, very easy on the eyes, let's be honest. <laughs> let's let's talk about the elephant in the room. Not a bad looking dude. And he's, he's a historian, and he knows what he's talking about, which is fantastic. But anyway, he came out with this book, and I saw that it went down on, um, on Amazon, down to $1.99 for the ebook. So I immediately grabbed it because the audiobook, which he is narrating, comes out in early December. So I figured this way I can get the audiobook for a bit cheaper, and that is The Templars by Dan Jones. So this is all about the Templars, um, you know, their history and all those things. And, you know, he wrote a fabulous book on the War of the Roses, and, you know, that's his section of history. And I know um, Steve from um, Steve Donahue mentioned um, this Templars book. He got a copy of it. And unfortunately, I was behind in videos because I was going to email him and say, please, 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 can I have a copy of that? Um, but I'll have to hunt out my own copy and that's fine. Um, but yeah, again, a big fan and I'm really excited about that book. The next book for a completely something completely different is Thread the Halls by Lee Waite. This is book number six in the Mainly Needlepoint series. This is another one that came up on um, for a deal. It's a cozy mystery. I'm really getting into cozy mysteries lately. And this one looks really cute and I can't wait to read it. And it just seems to be like the cozy mystery Christmas kind of books I'm really drawn to. Um, speaking of, the next one is Sleigh Bells Ring by Karen Rose Smith. I read her before. She used to write quite a bit for Harlequin um, Category Romance. Excuse me. And this is the Caprice de Luca Home Staging Mystery Book Number Seven. So these are again a cozy mystery set, and I believe she does sta she stages homes. Which what that is is if you're going to move, or something like that, they come in and make it look like how other people would want to see it. You know, the kind of like rearranging your furniture and things like that. So sounds like fun. Another cozy mystery is Death by Eggnog by Alex Erickson. This is book number five in the Bookstore Cafe Mystery. I got book number four last month, which was um, Death by Pumpkin Spice. So these ones look really cute, adorable kitty on the cover. I couldn't pass it up. Speaking of adorable kitties, next up is Purring Around the Christmas Tree by Liz Magravio. This is book number six in the Positively Organic Mysteries. I'm not too sure exactly what the basis premise of this mystery series is. She runs some sort of a shop that has to do with animals, but it's not like a vet's clinic or a shelter or anything like that. I think she might do cat and dog treats kind of thing or like a cat dead dog spa or something like that. I'm not too sure, but it looks cute. Um, next up is Fly Away With Me by Susan Fox. This is book number one in the Blue Moon Harbor series. I talked about book number two that's coming out in December. So I saw book number one came up on deal, so I immediately picked it up. It's just a contemporary romance. Um, next up was another one that was on deal. It's about a dog by Jenna McKinley. It's book number one in the Bluff Point series. Um, it's a contemporary romance featuring a dog, and it looks adorable. Um, next up is Worth the Wait by Lori Foster. Um, this is book number two in the Guntley, Guntley Brothers series. Lori Foster is a great author. She writes very prolifically, and her books tend to be very steamy, very Jill Shalvis in that kind of an aspect. And this one was up on a deal, so I picked it up. I haven't bought... I don't think I own any of her books, but I have read a number of them years ago. Next up, speaking of Miss Jill Shalvis, Chasing Christmas Eve by Jill Shalvis, which is book number four in the Heartbreaker Bay series. Um, I picked that one up on a deal. It was only $1.99, so 
super thrilled to get my hands on a copy of that. Um, next up is another one that was a deal, and that is Belong to Me by Marissa De La Soto, Santos, excuse me, book number two in the Love Locked In series. Uh, another contemporary romance type series. It looked cute. Um, the next one, these ones are all, I'm just double checking, these are all Harlequin books that I picked up um, using some points from the Harlequin Rewards um, points. And the first one is Western Christmas Proposals by Carla Kelly, Kelly Boyce, and Carol Arns. This is, Harlequin does one of these every year, and um, it's an anthology of Christmas stories. I think they alternate every year, whether it's going to be Regency stories or Western, like um, the Wild West. And this is a Western one, and they are my absolute favorites. I do, I love Regencies, but I my, my heart is for Western romance. Um, so these ones look really great. The next one is Kidnapped by the Highland Road by Terry Brisbane. This is book number three in the Highland Feuding series. I believe this might even be a medieval type of um, historical romance, so it's something a little bit different, and I decided to pick it up. Um, the next one is The Tycoon Secret Child by Maureen Child. This is book number one in the Texas Cattlemen's Club Blackmail series. Um, Maureen Child's a great author. This one looks like a lot of fun. It's probably a whole secret baby type storyline, so it should be great. The next one is A Colorado Family by Patricia Thayer. This is book number four in the Rocky Mountain Twins series. And again, another contemporary romance. This is a Western because this is the new, they've renamed Harlequin American Romance to Harlequin Western Romance because over the last few years, 90% of the books that they were putting out every month dealt with cowboys and ranching and that kind of thing. So that's why they changed the type of book it is. Um, and the last book in this is Raining in the Billionaire by Danny Wade. I have not read anything by this author, but it sounded like a good story. Obviously, it involves horse, horsing of some kind. Um, but yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, that is all the books that I have bought, well, standalone, like outside of the box sets. So stay tuned tomorrow for the box sets. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you guys have read any of these books or if you're interested in any of these books. Please always go and check them out um, if you are interested because they might still be on deal um, if you're curious to, to, to have a look at them. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.